And would you believe it's not 5% or 3% or 1% or even half a percent? You want to know how much CO2 is in the atmosphere? Sure. It's 1 25th of 1%. That's a very small amount of CO2. Amount of CO2 in the Earth's atmosphere? What did they say? Did they confirm my, my statement that, the, that it's a very small amount? But, so, what would happen... Yeah. I was right, right? Because mm -hmm. I Googled it already. Yeah. Well, I, already I, I already knew that. So that's Four one hundred. <laughs> Okay. Four one hundredths, exactly. That's what I said. Okay, so that's a very minuscule amount of CO2. You know which greenhouse gas is doing the most greenhouse effect? It's water vapor. There's 2% of the atmosphere is water vapor. And water vapor is a greenhouse gas. So the one that's responsible for increasing the temperature the most is obviously water vapor. So maybe we should be more worried about water vapor than CO2. So well, if the Earth's temperature is, is rising, we're going to get more water vapor. That's also true. Then there will be more greenhouse effect. So here's a here's the thing, you know, I've been uh, thinking about this and if we were able to eliminate all the CO2 in the atmosphere, what would happen? There'd be no point in and if there's no plant life, what happens to the animals like us? <laughs> we don't last long. Right, so we desperately need the little CO2 that we have in the atmosphere. Of course. And so the, I researched this, and the big difference between the amount of CO2 now, which it increased from, say, like 10 years ago, something like that, is it increased from... 0.0003 of the atmosphere to 0.0004. So there was a big proportional increase, like almost a third, right? But for you, a guy who knows math, you know the numbers because you, you didn't get mixed up with the numbers. <laughs> Very good chance. So that's what everybody's talking about. But it's such a but if you knew. If everybody knew that there's such a small amount, would they be as a lot? Because we need some. And in fact, the big risk would be that there wasn't any, or that it was too low, and then the plants start to die. Well, it's the planet is actually a lot more fragile than what I think some would deniers would like to believe. And uh, yeah. We need a certain mix of everything to move on. So it's a very small and, amount and, uh, of There's only so much that we can adapt to. And after that, the problems become insurmountable. So James, uh, tell me, how is it that you know about this uh, issue and, and you, you have a, it's an issue of your concern? Because uh, a lot of people really are not as familiar with it as you are. I don't know about that. Okay. I just wanted to give you a comment. I think there's something. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to take yes for an answer. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, well, you know, let me no, say it, this. It, it, uh, it bothered me. To, it, it bothered me when I see people at a political convention saying things like, "Ex-politician digs coal." Surely we can put those people. Developing better sources of energy. Well, that, 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 that's one uh, view. Uh, another view is that uh, we'd like everybody to decide for themselves where they want to work. But anyway, James, I want you to continue to enjoy this uh, convention, and uh, I hope you enjoy what I hope to do with uh, stimulating you. <laughs> okay. you think you we all enjoy the rest of the convention? Of course. Excellent. Of course. Okay. Well, okay. Are thank we you. Are we on camera now?